welcome to the wicked gamer and collector welcome back to the youtube channel so in today's video we are going to talk about this donkey kong full-size arcade machine i'm here with dragonfly amusement and i did a lot of reviews of his cabinets these are new generation of cabinets and and the reason why i'm saying this is because they have changed a lot of things for example the buttons uh, we have different layouts, better quality buttons, the decals are different, everything is improved over the years. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to play some games and just to check out what we're going to get. I have this big passion for retro gaming and arcade machine and I want to share my expression here on the channel. So if you like these products, consider subscribing, become one, how I like to call this, the Wicked Family and don't miss out any new videos. I have an upload every single day so there is always something new to watch here. Alright so let's start and let's talk about the cabinets and let's start with the cabinet itself of course and how is the quality of the decals. So if you look at the quality of the stickers, the decals they are using on this cabinet, I was blown away. It looks so good. It looks amazing. It's of course a little bit more like a percentage. What do you think of the art itself? But what I understand, this is a one-on-one -on -one replica of the original back at the day. And so if you're interested in a product like this and you want to have this more like showcase in your room, I think this is something is really cool to have. The same goes for the marquee. As you can see, the light of future looks very nice behind this awesome high quality marquee. The cabinet itself features light up buttons and it has just a six button layout. And the reason is if you want to upgrade it with a different main board, you can always do this very easily. Otherwise you need to modify it and drill new holes. So I think this is more something like a little look into the future if you want to upgrade it. Right, so let's open up. What's a door, much more like a hatch number one. Here you can see the monitor is running on VGA, there is no other way to connect it. You can turn it 45 degrees, so if you want to upgrade it, for example, with a Pandora box in the future, you can do that very easily. I really like how they assembled everything, it looks very nice. Here we have the power supply and the 60 watt main board. And the two little speakers are powered by a little amplifier. And I'm guessing these are two 10 watts little speakers. But I can tell you they're pretty loud. Alright, so if you want to put the cabinet on a fixed position, that is possible because you can just do this very easily by adjusting the little positioners. Here we can lift open the control panel and what you can see over here is that you can reach the buttons very easily. Do you need to replace or you want to do something for a checkup? Alright, so everything is made and assembled very nice. Right, so the 61 is, an, well, let's say, a little bit of an older kind of a main board. Now we are a little bit spoiled with the big collections. But this collection has been dedicated to the vertical, or better said, the upright screen that is inside this machine. So games like Donkey Kong, for example, uh, Pac-Man, Dig Dog, all these need a way to play them. And this main board and cabinet is dedicated especially to these games. The collection is not huge, but the games are on it are pretty fun to play. Like a real kung fu guy. 
Alright, so if you look at the cabinet, it's safe to say this is what we call a very nice high quality replica. It comes with a 16 one mainboard, but if you want to upgrade it, and I think that is something very convenient with the button layout, but keep in mind that there's something more looked up into the future. And if you don't want to, yeah, you having six button, a lot of buttons are not going to be used with these games. So the audio itself is very nice. It sounds very crisp, clear. And again, you can always adjust it with the amplifier that's inside. So, and again, I think if you look at the upgrade possibilities, I think it's a cool cabinet. They are not cheap, but this is what you're going to get a very high quality product. Let me know what you think of this. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell. I will see you in my next video.